Hello everybody. I know it's been a really long time since I posted a video. Um, as some of you may know, I left the hobby for quite some time. Um, a number of years actually. Uh, but I am pleased to announce that I am keeping again. Uh, and I want to post a video that was requested a lot in the past. Um, how do I set up my breeding enclosures and what have I had success with? And so we're going to jump right into that and I'll show you guys what's worked for me. So obviously you need a couple of centipedes, and I can't stress enough um, that you should obviously always, always, always have them properly sexed. Um, you don't want to be saying, uh, I think this is a female, or I'm going to take your word for it. Um, don't buy them from somebody that said that it's a male and a female and try to breed them, because you'll probably end up with some bad results. So what we got here is a male Dehani, and then we're going to be breeding him. Um, he's an orange leg, really, really pretty specimen. And um, we're going to be breeding him with a female yellow leg Dehani. Um, she's quite big. But uh, I'll just show you guys him and we'll move right into the video. So let me show you guys the uh, enclosure we're going to be using first. So obviously, depending on the centipede size, you're going to have various size enclosures. Um, I like to use these ones that have ceiling locking lids because as we all know centipedes are escape artists and they will get out of a lot of different types of enclosures but these seem to work well um, now in the past i had used top ventilation enclosures with a fan on the side and just a couple of holes but now it's just cheaper and easier to use full cross ventilation depending on the species you want more or less holes since we're doing dehani we got a tropical setup here so um, that's what we're going to use for the tub, and now let's move along to the substrate that we're going to need in here. Now for a lot of stuff I like to use composite using either peat and sand or cocoa fiber and sand. Now cocoa fiber doesn't work for everything. Some centipedes very, very, very rarely will eat the fibers in cocoa fiber and become impacted. We want to avoid this obviously, so to these days I kind of don't use so much cocoa fiber. Um, unless it's a species that I know for certain is not prone to eating those fibers. Um, so this is just straight peat. We're going to be doing it for day honey today, so that's all we need. No sand mixture, no composite. And this is only going to be a little bit, a small layer on the bottom. So now let's move along and show you what kind of debris we need to enable them to actually lay the sperm web. Now this is just about the most important aspect of the whole enclosure because depending on the species you're going to want a lot of debris, either rocky or woody debris, or you're going to use a, even just straight packed substrate in some instances with really dry hard sand and stuff like that for some really accomplished burrowers like Polymorpha. This is Dehani, so we want wood debris and a little bit of rocks and I also got some you know leaves and whatnot. Um, so now let's show you how to put this all together we have our tub. Add the substrate. In this case it's going to be less than an inch deep um, because we don't really need deep substrate because these guys are going to be laying the sperm web in the debris. So now we're going to put our debris in. Now we have our rocks assembled along one side of the tank here, or enclosure rather, at an angle. So it's at a downward angle like this. We got a hard surface here. Now the next is wood debris. With the first layer on there, it's going to go across right along the top. It's going to create a long line that they can crawl through, and that's going to enable them to have a lot of space for laying said sperm web. But then you can add more and make it even more complex to encourage uh, the laying of the sperm web. This one you can see from the outer wall, which is nice, and we can build it up with other logs to have other chambers that we can also see. So let's do that next. Now we really got a stack going on here. We got a lot of chambers we can see through the sides and we even got little places where they can run and go through if they start to get bugged by each other. Um, various flat ones on the bottom so they can hide under. Again, if they want to run from each other and you're not quite right there, you should always monitor it. But if you look away for a second and something does happen, give them places to hide. So next, I like to just add ground debris. And here it is, our final setup. We got everything in there, the ground debris, everything except for the centipedes. And there's one last step that I want to stress and we're going to show it to you next. Never attempt breeding without one of these right here, a spray bottle. If you don't have one of these, you're going to want to get yourself one. The reason being is because centipedes like to fight. 
you put this little bad boy on stream and you spray those suckers when they start to fight and that'll stop them and make them let go so you don't have to intervene. Now obviously if they don't let go, which in some rare cases they don't, you're just going to have to intervene. Now obviously the final steps are adding the centipedes. So let's get them in there. Here goes my big female. And then let's get the male. And put him in as well. And we'll hope for some action. But there you guys go. Thank you so much for all the years of support. Always watching my videos. Please share this everywhere you can. Like, subscribe, and uh, I can't wait to show you guys my next video. It's going to be pretty cool. Have a wonderful day.